Good morning. Welcome to the last week of school. Today, your science and math is combined together. So you're going to have click on the Monday, May 11th, and you're going to take a virtual field trip to the Seattle Aquarium. Here's a little scavenger hunt you can do. You'll watch the video. After the video, once you get here, you're going to stop. You're going to go up here to the corner and you're going to click hit present. Once you do that, then you can continue through your slides. So you have some true and false questions. You are not getting graded on these. These are just to help you understand what you saw in the video. So you'll work your way through the slides. You get to the bottom. Here is your exit slip and it is math. There are four classes from Painted Stone Elementary that would like to go on a field trip to the aquarium. Let's do some math and figure out how much that would cost. All right, so we have four classes. All together we have 96 students want to attend the field trip. Each ticket to enter the aquarium costs $8. Students will take their own lunch in order to keep the cost down. However, it costs money for the buses. Each student will need to pay $30, $3, I'm sorry, a piece for the bus ride. How much will the trip to the aquarium cost? All right, let's look at that. We need to take into account there are 96 students. For each one of those students, it is $8. We're going to go ahead and work through this one together today. You'll take 96 times $8. That is step one. You're going to take your own lunch as a student. However, each student needs to pay $3. So you're going to have to take your 96 students times your three dollars you have to get that answer and then you're going to have to add the two up to find out how much it will cost you can go ahead and make a document in google drive and share that with your teacher all right let's go up here and click out for reading you're going to work on something for the entire week so it says i can reflect on my nti learning this week, you will be reflecting on your NTI learning experience during the COVID-19 global pandemic. The purpose of this project is to create a time capsule to remember how your life was during this unbelievable time in history. Please follow the instructions on the following slide to begin working on your time capsule project. P.S. You have done an amazing job, and you have, so remember that as you're working today. All right, it says click on this link, so you'll click on the link. just like that and it will say copy document you're going to make a copy click on this blue button right here it takes just a minute you're going to go up here in the corner and you're going to type your name and then you're just going to walk through the slide so on this slide, it says you are living history. Many years from now, people would look back at this year to study what happened and how it affected the people who are living in it. You are one of those people. You're going to take time to record. You can put a photo of yourself in. You put your age, your height, your weight. All of these slides you're going to work through. Now, don't think you have to finish this today. This is your entire week of reading and writing, so take your time. You may want to break it down and do so many slides per day, but this is what you're going to work on this week, your time capsule. You're going to share it with your teacher. All right. That is pretty much all you have to worry about for today. Just remember when you make your copy to put your name in there. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I will see you at 1 o'clock on Zoom. Bye.